Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. Today was machine cleaning day. I knew that both of my sewing machines needed a good cleaning. And as I sat down to do it and started trying to take out those little screws, I was having so much trouble getting them out. So I raided my husband's toolbox and found the perfect tool to use. So have a look and see if this might work for you. The other day I sat down to clean out my machine and started to take my screws off and I pulled out the screwdriver that comes with the machine. And I mean, what are people thinking? That is not an appropriate screwdriver to use on a sewing machine. It just, there's no way that you can have it stand up right in the front or in the back. There, you know, there's a little more room in the back, but not enough to really be able to use that screwdriver well. A few years ago, a friend gave me this one, which is nice. It's nice and small. It fits well in the, in the area there. But if that screw is in very tight, this one does not have enough leverage to really untighten it easily. You're going to have to really work hard to do that. So that one works in some situations, but not in this particular one. And don't get me started on whoever invented this thing. Um, you know, yes, it, it will work, but it's just not super easy to deal with. So I headed out to the garage into my husband's toolbox and I found this. It is a right angle screwdriver. It comes with a lot of different heads that you can use. You can just pop them out and pick whichever one you need. When you are using this, it is a ratchet screwdriver. So it's important to figure out which way you need to turn this little button to, to screw something in or to unscrew something because that's gonna make a difference as to how it works. Once you have figured that out, you just place the, the, the screwdriver in the hole on your screw. You're gonna place your thumb or another finger on top of it just to give it, just to hold it in place. And we're going to turn like this. So turn like this and you see that it's unscrewing. When I get all the way down here, I'm gonna press a little bit harder here and I'm gonna ratchet it back. Now I can lift up with my thumb again and look, it will turn, turn it as it goes around like this. Again, ratchet back and turn, ratchet back and turn. When I get it to here, I normally just use my fingers and take it out the rest of the way. Now let's go to the back. Same thing, I'm going to put my screwdriver in I'm going to put my thumb on top of it and I'm going to unscrew. I'm going to ratchet, unscrew, ratchet, unscrew, ratchet, unscrew. And before we know it, we, those screws are to the point that we can easily take them out with our fingers. Once you have done your cleaning, you're going to come back and you're going to push this the other direction so that it is now screwing something in rather than unscrewing it. You put your, your screw driver in the hole right there you're going to turn it and you see it is actually screwing that screw in as I get to here. I'm gonna push my finger down on it and ratchet it back. And I'm gonna come again and back and then again until it's nice and tight. Back here, same thing, nice and easy. I'm gonna put it, the screwdriver in, I'm gonna screw it down, I'm gonna ratchet, screw it down, ratchet, screw it down. All right, go raid your husband's toolbox uh, run to the hardware store and buy yourself one, but I think a right angle screwdriver like this will make your machine cleaning experience so much easier. Well, that was short and sweet, but it gives you the perfect tool that you can use to get those screws out so that we keep our machines clean and running beautifully. Thanks for joining me here, and I hope to see you next time on Francis Quilts. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.